In the streets of Nairobi, a photograph of the Democratic candidate is almost as good as money. At this music store in the Kenyan capital, customers line up to buy Barack Obama-inspired music. At a nearby print shop, t-shirt designer Tony Indolo says shirts with the candidate's image sell out almost as quickly as they're printed. Like his name, Barack, is a blessing for Kenya and for, for my wallet. <laughs> And at most newsstands, the biggest headlines are reserved for stories about the U.S. presidential contest. One Nairobi resident said the election may be thousands of miles away, but if Kenyans could vote, she says the 47-year-old senator would already be president. We hope that Obama wins because we believe he's going to bring change into Africa and to the whole world. For many, the idea that the son of a Kenyan professor could become the first black president of the United States is powerful inspiration. Milka Akinye even named her son after the Illinois politician. I named the kid Obama because long time Obama was also like this. And now he's old. He's now intending to be a president in the USA. At a small village in western Kenya, where Obama's paternal family lives, Kenyan police are already posted ahead of festivities expected here when U.S. polling stations close. That's how confident Malik Obama is that his American half-brother will win. Everybody is extremely happy, you know, and excited and looking forward to celebrating the day after the election. Most national polls put Obama ahead of his Republican opponent by a few percentage points. But some Kenyans believe the only way Obama can lose is if the election is stolen from him. Because he's been leading in the polls all along. And uh, I don't understand, and I will not understand why Obama have lost. If they tell us Obama have lost, that one definitely will show that they have rigged Obama out because of race, uh, racism and uh, color. Despite the Democratic candidate's popularity in Africa and Europe, a recent Gallup poll shows Republican candidate John McCain is preferred in some countries, but by much smaller margins. Milar Sega. VOA News.